This is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I'd like to talk about a common plant disease. Now, I'm going to use this tulip poplar as an example because it is suffering from this particular plant disease that I'm going to talk about. Now, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to this particular one. Some people call it sooty mold, other people call it black mold, and there is a difference. Sooty mold is a mold that um, looks like, almost like a rust on the leaves of many trees, tulip poplar as an example. And what happens is you have some type of sucking insects sucking on the plant material like aphids, white flies, mealybugs, and as they're sucking they are producing increment and that is called honeydew. Now there's kind of an interesting story to this. If you see a lot of ants on your plant material, chances are you have aphids because aphids are sucking on the plant material and they are producing an increment called honeydew and it is sweet and ants are attracted to the sweetness. So there's a relationship between ants and aphids. A aphids produce food for ants and ants protect the aphids. But um, in sooty mold, it is a fungus that grows on this honeydew and this fungus has gotten on these leaves of this tulip poplar. Now, while it will not kill the plant, unless it is, you know, every single leaf is covered with it, what will happen is the leaves that have the sooty mold will begin to decrease their ability to go through photosynthesis because this will actually cause holes in the leaves and the more holes you have, the reduced efficiency of the leaf to be able to go through photosynthesis. Black mold, on the other hand, is powdery mildew, actually, but it is not white, it is black, and that is caused by the environment being too moist, and that is a big problem in the deep south when it comes to tulip poplars in this example. So, what is the solution to sooty mold? The solution is to control the sucking insects. If you remove the honeydew, you don't get the sooty mold. So I hope you found this video helpful. Take a look at your trees and see if you've got that sooty mold. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Garden.